Hey, Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. Week one challenges, season three, they've dropped. And here they are, you get the Jack Shadow Titan kit. So, what are they? LMG centric, and it's a recommended LMG, and we'll take a look and see what qualifies in a second. And then there's one SMG challenge, and again, recommended. 35 crouch kills while aimed down sight, 30 quick scopes with an LMG, 30 headshots with an LMG, eight reloads while taking damage. That was an interesting one. 25 tax stance kills suppressed with an LMG, four kills with one magazine three times with an LMG. So let's take a look and see what, what qualifies not very many of them. So you have the TAC Eradicator and the Evolvra. Actually, that one got a significant nerf. So I haven't played with the Eradicator for a while. I decided to go with that. Main reason being, you can have a 150 round drum for the four kills with one magazine, but you also have a 45 round that changes out quickly to complete your change while taking damage. As far as SMGs that qualify, you have the Horus, the AMR-9, which got some buffs, the HMR-9, which got some nerfs, the Striker, which also got some nerfs, and the Vaznev 9K, good old meta Vaznev. So I decided to go with the Horus. So let's take it in to the field of honor and see what happens. All right, let's do some battle. So on this first map, it's the first time I actually got into emergency. First time I've ever seen it in Modern Warfare 3. I'm using the Horus. Got a lot of kills, 40. And I don't even realize that I'm going after Weekly Chows, to be honest here. I was going for a video on getting the Horus to Interstellar, which I'll leave a link to that one completed it I think Wednesday when it dropped so I'm looking for quick scope kills and with an SMG if you ADS at the last second that's a quick scope nobody knows well I say nobody I mean grandpa newbie I'm a nobody because nobody's perfect and they're they're the quick scope kills knows what they mean by quick scope kills or shortly after ADS because I posted my Moore's Interstellar video and I was confused the whole time as to what they considered a kill shortly after ADS so they changed their vernacular there so right now I'm just c kind of combining the crouch kills the quick scopes using the tack eradicators and the headshots those three pretty much combined you have to intentionally go after the four kills with one magazine and that's what I'm doing there and I got three of them on that first map so we go to rust grandpa has a few rusts in his joints so he he can understand the rusty climate there's a hopper and a go-getter and somebody just standing there two opposite ends of the spectrum there so there are three kills and Dumbo Newbie change out 150 round magazine. I got to get an eight more kills. So I reset the clock there for my last four kills with one magazine. There's one, there's two, and actually it's my fifth kill with that life. There's three. I just need that one more, get the hop along guy there. And there's four. Five, there's that week one challenge completed. Four kills, one magazine with a recommended LMG. And you can see that the other requirements are starting to line up or light up. Make sure that you set the in game tracking. I stole somebody's care package and it ended up being one of these little juggernauts. And I just went to town. There's a merciless there. I usually don't like this one. But I had fun with it. Now, tax stance kills, you have to be intentional about those. 
I left the 150 round magazine on it and just raged. I bebopped, I chucked, I drove, I jived. And you can see that this is a very accurate gun with tax stance. Did I say gun? I meant gun. So I'm running around being a nuisance, tax stancing my way to victory. I don't think that these combine with anything, maybe the headshots. So the, the eradicator was powerful. It took a, one point whatever maps to get the 25 kills. Now I'm going for the reload while taking damage eight times. And you've got to put the 45 round mag on it for this. That one kind of flummoxed me because I, I tried reloading after I took damage and it didn't work. You can see I've got one of them. I don't know when that one happened. Sometime when I had the 150 round mag on. The only way that I could get these done was to fire off around. See that one counter. In fact, I've got three. Fire off around, go in the middle of shipment, change my mag and hope that somebody had shot me as I'm putting it away, as, as it's, the change is completed. So there you go, somebody get me, there. The knifer got me and that one counted. I've got seven out of eight, seven, there's the eighth. So the, that one is completed and I was so glad to put that one behind me. Now I'm doing a combination of crouch kills, quick scopes and headshots. So basically all you do is rage on the map in that particular hard point, everybody left except one other player. But I continued because I'm going for those last three items. And you can double up on them. You can crouch and get a headshot. Well, uh, you can't quick scope. So there are the quick scopes. And I've got the Jack Shadow Titan kit because I've completed five of the challenges. So all I need are the crouch kills and the headshots. So I'm crouching, I'm crouching. I'm smelling my feet the whole way. Trying to combine crouch kills with headshots and there sometimes you gotta put the 150 round mag back on it. And the crouch kills actually, I got those in that game. I just didn't get the flash. There's a headshot. One, there's a headshot. I just need one more. There it is. Of course, I celebrate by getting gacked. Now I've completed everything. There it is. The Jack Shadow Titan kit belongs to Grandpa and Newbie now. What a deal. In case you're wondering what the Jack Shadow Titan kit is and what weapons it applies to, the only one I could find was a Bruin. There might be more, but definitely the Bruin Mark 9. And this is what it does to it. It increases the rate of fire, ADS speed, all the mobility and handling are significantly buffed, as is vertical recoil and gun kick accuracy. But the effective ranges go down a bunch, 30% across the board less target flinch but you still have about 20 meters rate of fire is going to be 844 rounds per minute so around smg range with a damage higher than any smg so within the next day or so i will be doing another video featuring the jack shadow titan kit thanks for watching please like and subscribe cheers